Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 25 of my tutorial on how to make Android apps. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the easiest way to use the Android navigation drawer. I've received numerous requests to cover this, and I'm going to cover it in the most simplistic fashion possible. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to jump over and show you exactly what it's going to look like, and then I'm going to write all the code. Okay, so here is the navigation drawer. You can see it's going to pop up right there. And I kept this extremely simple. And you're going to see here, what I'm actually doing is loading a brand new fragment. But all it says is contact information or in that situation, my company. But you could put any fragment or any activity in there you could possibly ever want. So just kept it really simple. So you guys will definitely know exactly how to do this. Okay, so here's Android Studio, and we're just going to come in here, and we're going to create ourselves a new project, and I'm just going to call this And Nav Draw, just to be really bizarre. And then I'm going to click on Next, and then I'm going to click on Next. I'm setting that for 15, doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to come down here to Navigation Drawer Activity, and click on that, and click on Next. Let everything else be exactly the same, and click on Finish. And now it's going to create everything. Okay, so as you saw, everything there was very, very simple, but you're going to be able to put in any type of activities inside of there. I just kept it simple so that it's simple and easy to use. All right, you can see that it automatically generated these different layout files for us. And if we come up here and click on Java, we're also going to see that it also generated the navigation drawer fragment for us. Now I'm going to come in here, and I might as well just go in and create my layout files for all of my fragments. So I'm just going to click on Layout, and go New, and then XML, and then XML Layout File. I'm going to call this first one Fragment About Me, and that's an XML file. I'm going to leave that as a linear layout, and click on Finish, and it's going to generate that for me. And we can come in here and click on the Text tab at the very bottom of the screen. And then the only thing I'm going to do here is go in and put in a text view, and and I'm going to have this be wrap content and have this be wrap content. For the text, I'm going to come in and just put about me fragment so that we'll be able to see this change. And of course, you'll be able to come in here and change this to whatever you want it to be. Make sure we get rid of text size. And then I'm going to come in and do padding and just have this be 5dp, something like that. And then text size, this time I want to use. And let's just make this 16sp. All right, there we go. Now I'm just going to copy this whole entire thing. Come over here to the layout folder, click on that, go new, XML, layout XML. Call this fragment contact info. There we go. That's generated. Come down here, click on the text tab. Just select all this, paste that in there. And then this guy is going to be contact info fragment. And of course, I have a link in the description with all the code chains you can see here. And that's all I'm going to do for that. So let's just select it, copy it, and then let's create our last fragment layout. Come over here, right? New XML, layout XML. And let's call this one fragment my company. And then click finish, go on the text tab, select all, paste, and then for the text part for this, let's just make it my company fragment. And there we go. So we have our layout files for our fragments. Now let's go and create our fragments. So come over here, click on this guy, new, Java class, and I'm going to call this about me fragment. Click OK. Let's go extends fragment, and then pick the support version 4. And there we go. And go public static about me fragment, new instance, about me fragment. That's how we're going to be able to generate these fragments. New about me fragment, and then return fragment. And that's how, like I said, we're going to be able to generate and return a fragment. We can create a default constructor here as well. Come in here, and we're going to have to go into generate and on create view, override methods. And there is on create view, generated that for me. We can come in here and delete that. Generate a view. Root view is equal to inflator is going to be used to inflate our fragment layout. Show it on the screen. And that is fragment. And this is about me. So there we go. Pass in a container that was passed here. So that's a view group that we're going to inflate into. And then false. And then return this root view that we just created. And then, of course, spell inflator right. There we go. And then we want to also generate on attach which is going to be called whenever the fragment's going to be associated with our main activity. So override methods, and then come down here to on attach, and that's generated. What we're going to do here is this is going to allow us to call over into main activity and make sure that the action bar title matches whatever the item was selected inside of our navigation drawer. So how we're going to do that is we're going to call main activity, activity, and then call on 
section attached and you're going to see here in a second and we're going to have this be the very first one because this is about me and this is the first thing in the navigation bar and like I said in one second I'm going to show you exactly what on section attached does we're going to pass over one in this situation and then for the other ones two and three and like I said this is all just so that we will be able to go in and whenever the, the item is selected on the navigation drawer it's going to change the title at the top of the screen in the action bar so this is all done about me fragment.java save that copy this back over inside of here we're going to create ourselves another fragment of course java class this one's going to be called contact info fragment generate that select all paste there's all the new stuff changes to two because that's the second item in our navigation drawer and then up here for the fragment part there and this is contact info so select that item right there and then we're also going to have to come in and go contact info fragment everywhere we change this name just select this paste that in there Paste that in there, paste that there, paste that there, and everything else looks good. Like I said, make sure you change this so the title won't change the top of the screen. Save that, select all, copy, come over here, create our last fragment, new Java class, call this my company fragment, select all, paste, change this into three, change this to my company fragment, my company fragment, my company fragment, my company fragment, change this also, come down here, change that to my company and everything else is the same so there we go got all our fragments set up we can go ahead and close all these not going to need to do anything with fragment main close that and right here you can see on section attached and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to automatically go and change all these and then i'm going to open up my strings.xml file in values and right here is where we're going to be able to change what goes in the navigation bar and just have this be about me and also the title whenever it's selected contact information and then also change this to and of course you can put as many of these in here you're not stuck with just three and there you go strings.xml is all done get rid of that and we'll go over into main activity and this stuff all looks really convoluted and crazy thankfully you don't have to pay much attention to any of it right here is the method that you're going to be able to use to change the fragment automatically whenever the navigation drawer item is clicked on this is really where everything goes on and to make it work for all of the different fragments you have here what we're going to do is go if position which is going to be the item that was clicked on is equal to zero and then we're going to come in here and grab this guy right here just change a couple things and it'll be easy to use so paste that inside of there all of this stuff's going to stay the same except right after this we're going to get rid of this guy and change this to about me fragment which is the fragment you want to open whenever that first item is clicked on and then just come in here to this and get rid of that all together and everything else about that's perfect then we're going to come in here might as well just copy this whole entire thing copy and we're going to go else paste in if change this position right here to one and then come down here and define the fragment you want to open up in that situation so we're going to say contact info fragment that's all we need to do very very simple and then we'll copy this again come down here else if change this to two two in this situation is going to open up the my company fragment just that easily and we can leave everything else exactly the same all of this is exactly the same just make sure that you have the title selection honed into what you have in your strings xml file which i already covered this guy right here if you want to know is actually where we're going to be able to come in and change the title of the page to the current fragments title so that handles that for us and if we save that and then we open up the navigation drawer fragment we just want to come in here and we don't really have to do anything but we just want to verify that we point to the strings.xml representation for all the items in our navigation drawer and we can just cycle right down through here until we get right here and then for these guys we can just click on them that's all i'm doing is clicking with my mouse and it's automatically throwing them in there and there you go guys that is how hard it is or how easy it is to go and use the navigation drawer to open up any one of numerous different fragments the only thing i could think you would have a question about is how to use fragments and of course i have tutorials on fragments and i'll put a link in the description under the video if you have any other questions so please leave your questions and comments below Otherwise, till next time.